Andy Hudson Knight here. Did you know that you can use your iPhone as a second camera and even a document viewer with Zoom? Now we're all familiar with a lot of Zoom's features. We've been using it for quite a while now. Maybe you're tired of using Zoom. Well, if you have a meeting or some sort of presentation and you want to be able to show what you're writing on paper or show a document or even show certain aspects on your phone, whether it's a particular app, maybe you want to show yourself uh, in another location away from your computer so that you can uh, walk around and give somebody a tour of your house or your office or somewhere outside. You can use your iPhone as a secondary camera and I'll show you how to use this with both Mac and PC. It's very easy to do. So let's get into how to use this. So I've got Zoom open on my PC. Now stick around if you have a Mac. I will also show you how to use this on your Mac. I have a Zoom meeting launched and live on my PC. So all we have to do here is use share screen and then under basic, you're gonna see an iPhone or iPad option. Unfortunately, this isn't supported yet for Android. Hopefully Zoom will roll that out. And I do have the latest Zoom version as of today, the day I'm filming. Click on that and then click share. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a message here that you need to make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network and then on your iPhone, as you can see what I'm doing here is I'm swiping up and I'm, I'm on an iPhone 8 Plus and this may vary depending on your version of iPhone, but you wanna to get to the screen mirroring option. I'm gonna tap that, that Zoom dash admin is the Zoom sharing feature on my, on my desktop computer. I'm gonna tap it. Okay, you'll see my screen now is up in Zoom. I ran into a little bit of a glitch because it doesn't work when you're, are, when you're recording your iPhone screen, but that doesn't matter now, now that we can see my iPhone here in Zoom as a screen share. Now, this particular app that I'm gonna use, because if we wanted to show someone a application on our phone, this would be very easy to use. If we wanted to be able to use our camera, that's all and well using our camera for a document viewer, but who wants to look at all you know these menu items down here? Now we could go and and video it. It's, we're going to be able to see more of the screen with the video feature, but again, you have all these overlay buttons that are getting in the way, so it would be a little bit cumbersome to try to show somebody how uh, a, a document. So a a developer named Charlie Chapman, what he did is he developed an app for his wife who is a kindergarten teacher and was having trouble sharing uh, documents, her, her writing to her class. So he developed this simple app and it's only available in the App Store. Unfortunately, it's not yet available for Android and it's called Overviewer. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it on my phone and now you can see the entire uh, view here is without any sort of menu, overlaying menu items, menu buttons. And on the phone, there are a couple different options. One is to rotate, so I can get it into landscape mode. And sorry for the shaky. Okay, so what we can do is you can see me writing down here like that and there is a bit of delay depending on your connection i am going through my wireless network so there is a bit of delay now i can tap a rotate feature that will rotate the display there rotated it to a portrait mode you can you can rotate it back to horizontal and that enables you to uh, have whatever orientation you want for showing your document there's also a light that will help illuminate if you're in a low light situation the light here should come on there you go if you're in a low light situation this is very helpful so that is how you use it on a PC. I'll close out the app.
So once again, we'll see my iPhone menu. And again, there is a bit of a delay here because I'm going over my wireless network. Uh, you are not able to use it through a corded connection on your PC. So let's go in and see how this works with a Mac. Okay, I'm in a, an active Zoom call on my Mac now. So we have that open. The, the process is the same though on a Mac, you're gonna be met with a couple of different options. When you share your screen, you'll see here there's iPhone, iPad via AirPlay, which does not, you do not have AirPlay uh, between an iPhone and a PC. And then connecting in your iPhone or iPad I recommend connecting it with the cable. You're going to eliminate that uh, that lag or that delay when you're trying to go over your wireless network, depending on the speed of your network. So why don't we just connect it via the cable and make sure that when you have your iPhone plugged into your Mac, you click that trust button. Let's see if this will work. Give it a second here to pop up. Okay, there's my my phone. Now if we go in here, again, just the same as the PC, you can see my apps on my phone just, as, just like on the PC. And again, here is the Overviewer app. If I open it up, notice now it's much more responsive because I'm not going over my wireless network. So if I want to record myself writing something, writing my name, You can do that very easily with this app. Now again, what I will do is I'll change the orientation and you'd want to have this, of course, um, stationary in a tripod or in, you know, held in place by books or something so that it's not shaking around like it is for me. But you can see those controls there. I'll turn on the light to brighten things up, especially if you're in a darker environment. And then you can zoom in. So you have the one, one X zoom. It's now zoomed in twice as much. Tap it again, and you can actually change it to the front camera. So now you can see me. Now you can see me it will change the orientation there so I'm there we go so let's say you wanted to show a different view of yourself or again be able to have a little more freedom with your camera now again I am tethered in through the cable if you wanted to be able to take the camera around um, your house then you would have to use the airdrop feature with with this with zoom I'll change back to the back camera and there you go. Again, there is how you can feature documents or any sort of live writing that you want to demonstrate to your class or to your uh, group at your company, or just using this as a second camera so that you can show people different aspects of your environment that it would be hard to do if you were, if you were just trying to use your webcam. So to stop sharing, all you have to do is click stop share and it will close out the sharing with your camera. And now we're back to the zoom window. So there you have it. That's how you can use your iPhone or your iPad as a secondary camera or a document viewer very easily with zoom, whether you're on a PC or a Mac. Let me know how this experience goes for you or how you use your phone in Zoom for meetings or for class in the comments below. Please put any questions that you have about my tutorial on this. And again, I wanna thank Charlie Chaplin and his efforts to develop this simple overviewer app so that we can help teachers who are at home teach their classes effectively be sure to give this video a like so that YouTube will share it out with others and subscribe to my channel for more tips like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.